Texas water law regulates surface water differently than groundwater. Surface water belongs to the state. The groundwater belongs to the landowner. Now history plays a big role in the development of Texas water law. The legal rights to own and use water in Texas came from the cultures and legal systems of Mexico and England. Early Spanish settlers in Texas used extensive systems of ditches to move water from one place to another and irrigate their crops. These early water systems were managed by the communities for the people they served. This centralized control of water was generally based on Spanish law and is the origin of Texas's system of prior appropriation. Prior appropriation gives the right to a certain amount of water to certain users. It divides available water among people who want it based on a government issued permit that includes the principles of first come, first serve. Senior water rights holders have first rights to a prescribed amount of whatever amount of water is available. This is often also referred to as the first in time, first in right rule. Anglo-American settlers who moved into Texas in the early 1800s brought with them a different system of granting rights to water called riparian law. This gives people who own land bordering streams the right to use water from the stream. It's based on English law and reflects conditions in England where, very much unlike in Texas, water was plentiful and there were many streams everywhere. Over time, these systems were merged, with Texas becoming what's called a dual doctrine state. This recognizes both riparian and prior appropriation rights. Neither of the two systems of allocating water considers ecological needs of aquatic ecosystem or the direct connections between groundwater and surface water. Today, Texas courts divide water into unrelated legal classes with differing rules governing who can own and use water in the different classes.